is another round of residents opposing the high speed rail and this time the feedback is coming from the only stop on the proposed bullet trains route. That one stop would be near Roan's Prairie in Grimes County. That's where the Federal Railroad Administration hosted another public meeting tonight. Whitney Miller was there. Well, tonight's meeting in Waller and Grimes County are significant because Texas Central says they already have over half of the parcels they need in both counties to complete the route. So there are great concerns in this area, but there are also a lot of people that appreciate the personalized approach and the fact that we're willing to work with folks. Tuesday night, Navasota Junior High was filled with Grimes County residents, many there to oppose the rail, and others came to ask questions. Joseph Reznicek is a rancher in the area and says while he's currently not affected by the train's route, he's got some concerns. There's almost too much information for people to digest. He also thinks the constant back and forth between residents for or against the train is starting to divide the community. If you look at the map for the proposed rail line, it splits Grimes County in half. And I'm really concerned that this is going to do just the same on both sides. Splitting land is huge for ranchers who oppose, but others say safety should be a priority. The Federal Railroad Administration agrees. We don't currently have any kind of safety regulation for trains operating above 150 miles per hour here in the United States. He says their office will need to evaluate the technology and issue a rule or regulation. Tonight's meetings are the last of 10 meetings that the Federal Railroad Administration has taken public comment. Next, we'll have to wait until they complete the final environmental assessment. In Grimes County, Whitney Miller, News 3. Whitney, thank you for that. Now that final study should be released by the end of the year.